Hey guys, this is Ron Moore, and it's time to play Fax Anadu or Fa I can't I can't pronounce this name the name of this game really. I'm mean, just like Spunkies could not pronounce Draken Drak Ken. Uh, I really I'm not sure how to pronounce this name either. Fax Anadu, Fax Anadu, Fax. I better send a Fax Anadu to somebody. Ha! <laughs> Stupid. Um, I was called Fax Anadu for the NES. Which came out in 88. Um, I played this a long time ago, probably for about. I rented it from Flix probably for three days, and after that, I never played it again. So it's kind of like it's an adventure game, kind of like uh, Zelda or whatever. Uh, and I was never good at it, but it's been so long since I played it, and so here we go. Pretty good, pretty good graphics right there for NES game. Uh, even though some of the color, the coloring's kind of distorted or. That tree over there is kind of weird looking, but anyway, I think the story is this guy is he came back from a long journey and he found found out that uh, his world right here, his town, um, has been taken over by evil dwarves or something. I don't know. The music in this game is eh, okay, and. God tells me I need to see the king. I guess he's the king wants to tell me to um, save the world. I think this place that I'm in is called the World Tree. I'm in a giant tree right now, or something like that, as you saw at the uh, beginning right there. And you start out with, of course, no money or gold, uh, little energy, and no magic. Listen to people. You'll only get frustrated if you just walk around. Thank you, Mrs. Rogers. Talk to everyone here. The dwarfs are robbing the elves' money and jewelry. They're, they're just dwarfs. Just kick them. You kick them in the face and that's it. Uh, let me go to church and pray to the Lord because I might need God's help to get through this game. supposed to get that before I talk to the king. There are many rings with different magic. Look for them one by one. Man, this is a nice looking town, huh? Okay, there's Nick Nolte. Hello, I sell keys. What would you like? Every, every time I try to impersonate somebody's voice, it sounds like Beavis. Creepy. Um, okay, he sells tools. I don't have no gold, so I don't know why I'm going to these houses right now. And he got to talk to this drug dealer. The dwarves are already in town. It looks like the end is near. The end is near. Uh, Spike Cooper's now. And I can't defend myself because I don't have no weapon, and punching's not going to work. And I can't figure out how to duck and punch in this game. I guess you can't do that. Get up. Okay. Whoa. He, that looks like the like the old guy from uh, Golden Axe. What's, what's that noise? This game kind of reminds me of just the way it looks and the music and the characters. It's starting to remind me of Eight Eyes. 
But, from what I remember, this game is much better than that game. Um, wait. You didn't give me no martial arts lesson, you just gave me energy. Give me my money back. <laughs> That's... Uh, okay, martial arts lesson gives you energy. Um, after you practice martial arts, shouldn't you have less energy because you're tired after that? I mean, how's it gonna give you more energy? I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go back in here and buy some magic from this guy. It's kind of frustrating, you know. Zelda, you don't have to buy magic. You kill enemies and get the little uh, magic potions, and your magic meter fills up slowly. Wow, uh, what? What? I jumped over that. Watch out! Oh, that's a sucker hit. All right, let me buy some tools. Hello, I sell tools. What would you like? What would you? You just asked me that. I yeah, the hand dagger. So I can stab some people. Thank you for shopping. <laughs> Hello, I sell tools. Oh, really? You're like a older, fatter George Costanza. Alright, I got the red potion. I guess that's energy. For me to drink when I need it. This music right here. Like, like I'm playing a game show and the... There's a countdown going on, and that, you know, before I gotta answer a question, and do, 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 you have 10 seconds. Do, 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 do. Almost like a fake Jeopardy song. Okay, I wanna select my dagger. No, not the red potion. Yeah. No, ah! Select it! Yeah, there you go. You want some of this? Yeah, you better not say that to me. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, watch out. Mark of Jack. What does that mean? Oh, I guess a keyhole or a key jack? What? Hey, this ain't what I bought keys at, but I want to see what he's selling. That guy looks stupid. Um, yeah, why not? I need some energy. Oh, and magic go along with it. Alright. I feel bad for calling him stupid now. He does look stupid. He looks like a douche. Ah, where's the where's the key place? Yeah, not the tool place. The key place. All right, here's Nick Nolte again. Come on, give me some keys. You know, perseverance is the key to be in this game. <laughs> All right. This music. Oh, that's my 50 to 60 golds right there. I've, I've used key. Alright, nice grammar there, Wrath of the Black Manta. Oh man, I remember this song. <laughs> when I saw a picture of this game right here, uh, I seen this enemy right here, and I thought it was a monster coming out of a wall from the background, the way it looked in midair when I saw a picture of it. Ah! Oh, jump! Oh! You know, I can't duck and stab. Ah, oh, it's ridiculous. Whoa, look out. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that. I got a lot of gold already. Oh. At least the golds add up more in this game than doing Zelda. Alright, I'm now climbing the ladders like Mega Man. Alright. This game is getting a little more interesting now. Listen to this. My friend was saying that part sound like I'm a little teapot. Do 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 do. Yeah, this game seems okay. Definitely not Zelda Star Tropics. Alright, let's see what he's selling. Whoa, that's too friggin' expensive. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back later.